What's up guys, Houndish here, and today I wanted to take a look at some new swords as well as a new weapon foundry coming inside of Destiny 2. So this is stuff we've learned mostly from trailers and bits of gameplay. So let's take a look at the swords right here. First up, this is from the gameplay trailer for Destiny 2. In this scene, as the Titan comes out of the Sentinel Super, we get literally just a few frames where we can take a look at the sword equipped on the Titan's back. It's a pretty cool weapon with this kind of angled blade. And then we've got the kind of ready pink artwork and then these kind of white bands wrapped around just near the hilt right there. It's a pretty cool looking weapon. Definitely a little bit of a different design to what we've seen so far in Destiny. The next sword we get to take a look at is also from the gameplay reveal trailer. We first see the hunter kind of sprinting at high speed and then attacking Cabal from above and we can see that this is kind of a really slim long blade, kind of a katana style thing and it seems to have pretty good range on it as well. The hunter swings in pretty far with that sword so that is pretty awesome. And finally we get to what is kind of like a broadsword or heavy medieval style sword and this is in some pvp gameplay from game informer but the titan comes swinging in and then it appears to have some kind of heavy attack and if you watch when those enemies die as well it appears that it does have uh, some kind of element because the enemies kind of dissipate with a blue or purple it's kind of hard to tell because the color isn't too great in this particular video but it's either blue or purple so perhaps arc or void damage right there which is pretty awesome of course we don't know specifically whether these are exotic or legendary swords but we have learned if you order the digital deluxe edition of Destiny 2, you do get a legendary sword in game. And if we look at the artwork right here, it's kind of an oriental style sword. So I'm really happy that swords are going to be a big thing in Destiny 2. I can't wait to actually use them. We do get a promo image right here. This is from the uh, press pack for Destiny 2. And we can see Lord Shax standing in this doorway in the tower with a raised lighter on his back. And this is pretty cool because if you remember back to the leak of the, I believe it was Mega Bloks toy, it spoke about Lord Shax wielding a raised lighter against a cabal whether we'll be able to use raise lighter in destiny 2 or whether it's simply for the story is not clear yet but i really hope that we get to see some kind of story element where we see Shax fighting and we get to learn what happens to Shax. that would be pretty awesome so that's about everything we know about swords in destiny 2 they definitely look very interesting and more varied than what we see in destiny 1 moving on though i wanted to take a look at the new foundry Voiced. so Voiced is a foundry coming inside of destiny 2 and we've seen a few weapons already. So first up we have the SMG and this is called the Red Mamba. 3MG. So this is an ARC SMG. Pretty cool looking weapon. The voiced weapons have this kind of green and black color scheme and they also have pretty interesting and unique kind of shapes and ornamentation around the sides of the weapon. This particular submachine gun looks like it absolutely shreds up close in the crucible which will be pretty cool. Moving on though we see the Copperhead 4SN sniper rifle. Again we can see the voiced logo right there on the side of the weapon. Again the color scheme is pretty awesome. It's also nice to see that the foundry weapon Weapons are a little bit more interesting looking and colorful in Destiny 2. Finally though we have the Urchin 3SI sidearm right here from Vice. Pretty standard looking sidearm you know everything you'd expect to see from a sidearm but it does have the cool color scheme and again the kind of spiked clawed shape under the barrel right there which is the sort of signature of a voiced weapons. Also in the opening mission for Destiny 2 we get a good look at a voiced assault rifle right here. We've seen other new types of Amelon weapons including the grenade launchers and things like that. Perhaps we'll even be able to earn swords in a similar way either through the gunsmith or perhaps some kind of quartermaster which would be pretty awesome. There is also a ghost shell right here where you can generate gunsmith telemetry data on solar weapon kills. So I'm really excited to see what the gunsmith and other weapon foundries will be doing inside of Destiny 2. Also interestingly if you look at these titan screenshots they're holding Soros weapons but if you look at the armor they're also wearing matching armor. So is this perhaps Soros armor? That would definitely be pretty interesting and would take you know the foundries and everything to a complete new level. It potentially makes a lot of story sense because if all of our gear has been destroyed you know in the tower and everything like that we would have to build new armor as well as new weapons and all of that kind of stuff so again it's pretty exciting but that is what i have for you today guys a quick look at the swords as well as some foundry stuff that's going to be going on in destiny 2 i hope you have enjoyed the video if you have a like is appreciated below it really helps me out and if you're new to the channel be sure to hit subscribe if you want to see more destiny 2 content for now though you guys have an awesome day